Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Olympian number ones. So the model number of these is the RB2319s. And let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. They have 62 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. And these sunglasses are straight out of the 1960s. They have this really nice wraparound style to them, which offers very good protection from the sun. And they have this very sleek design here on the temples, which are gold that wrap from ear to ear and that looks really really cool and adds a seamless effect to the sunglasses so let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little 180 so here we can see that metal uh, stem here goes all the way through the pair of sunglasses and again that adds that very sleek and cool silhouette to them these sunglasses are very similar to the original ray-ban olympian that were all metal so these sunglasses actually have acetate here on the frames rather than being all metal and this acetate is absolutely gorgeous. They have tortoise frames here, and what's really nice is Ray-Ban matches the estate of the frames to the temple, so it matches and looks really nice. They also have this beautiful uh, screw riveting here where they attach the acetate to the frames, and that adds a really cool and interesting styling element to them. Something else that I really like about these sunglasses is they have these very flat temples which are very comfortable, so they're very similar to a bayonet style to them because they are mostly flat here, and as you guys can see here they absolutely slide right behind the ear and they are very comfortable and I could wear these sunglasses for a long period of time without any discomfort. Of course these are a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses so they are going to have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses and also if we take a look here at the outside temples they also do have a etched Ray-Ban logo here on the outside frames on both the left and the right hand side. These sunglasses are made in Italy and they're going to say that here in the inner right temple sunglasses they say Ray-Ban made in Italy and they also say made in Italy here etched for authentication purposes on the top bridge of sunglasses. And of course, they also have an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens, again, for authentication purposes. These sunglasses do have all metal hinges, which feel very good when open up and when closing them, though the right is a little bit looser here than it is on the left, and I bought these sunglasses brand new, so I wish Ray-Ban's quality control on that was just a little bit better, but that's not too big of a deal. The lenses here are Ray-Ban's G15 glass lenses, so the optical clarity of these is very good, and they're going to block 100% UVA and UVB rays. Now, a lot of people wonder about the G15 lens because that is a green gray lens. They're always wondering if they look green or if they look gray. Well, they actually look pretty dark. They look like a very traditional sunglass lens, being very dark and shaded from the sun. They don't really look too green and they don't look too gray either. But looking through Ray Ban's G15 lens gives you a very natural color to things, and I do like them a lot. Now, these sunglasses do ship in an oversized Ray Ban case. So, here we can see the case is way bigger than our traditional Ray Ban case, and it actually is really really nice leather material to them and I actually really like this case a lot where usually the oversized sunglasses come in a cheaper looking Ray-Ban case. These actually come in this really nice case, so I do like that a lot. Now the reason they ship in an oversized case, even though they look pretty small on face, is because of the way the temples are. They actually stick out a lot, so when you fold these sunglasses up fully, we can see they are still extremely tall, and because of that, these are not going to fit in a standard Ray-Ban case. Now overall, I really do like this pair of sunglasses. I like the original Ray-Ban Olympian, but I also really like these because they do have those acetate inserts here on the frames. I think that adds a lot of extra extra character to these sunglasses. And again, I actually really do like the look of these sunglasses on my face. Normally, I don't like the look of a wraparound style sunglasses on my face. I usually look good on aviators, Wayfair styles, and Clubmaster styles, but the wraparound sunglasses usually don't look quite as good as I'd like them to. But honestly, I actually think these look very good and they definitely offer that 1960s vibe. But at the same time, these sunglasses still look almost modern, if that makes sense, because you don't see a lot of people wearing these. And overall, I really do like this pair of sunglasses. Now, as as far as coverage go, like I said earlier, these offer very good coverage from sun, and here we can see up top there really isn't a big gap to sunlight in unprotected. In here on the sides, again, there really isn't a big gap to sunlight in unprotected, so these are a very practical pair of sunglasses as well, and they're going to really protect your eyes. Now as far as pricing goes, these are going to run you around $165 directly from Ray-Ban's website and in most stores. However, you can pick up these for around $20 less on Amazon, so I will leave a link in the description down below where you guys check out these sunglasses directly from from Amazon. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.